love how you set me free from the stranglehold of sin that have ruled my life. I know I took for granted your love for me. I know. May my hopes and desire be that I may have a closer <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Holy Ghost. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Hey, glory. God bless you. Man, that's, man, y'all mess around. God keep you is our prayer. Let's give him another hand. Beautiful. First, give an honor to God and to all my brothers in Christ and also the sisters. God bless you. Amen. To the pastor choir song so well. Let's give them another hand. <laughs> to God be the glory for all of the great things that he's doing. Amen. Amen. I would like to draw your attention uh, briefly, amen, to the 30th, 130th number of Psalms, if you could please stand, starting at the first verse, where I actually probably read about eight, or eight verses to the entirety of it, to text. <clears throat> There's 30 Psalms, 30, 130. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, Lord, should have marked iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Mm. But there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord, for they that watch for the morning, I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenty of this uh, redemption. Eight, and he shall redeem Israel from all of his iniquities. May the Lord have a blessing upon the readers and doers of the Holy Word. We would like to use as a topic today deliverance out of the depths. You might be seated. Deliverance out of the depths. My brothers and sisters, we're living in a time where many of us want our blessings when we want it and how we want it. We can't wait on the Lord. We get impatient. We're living in that type of generation. It's like the microwave generation. You know, they want it in an instant. Am I right about it? I know many of y'all may not fit this description this morning, but many do. Amen. You got to have it. You ask God, God, I want new car. And God don't respond fast enough for you. Then we give up. We lose interest. You know, we just lose all religion because God didn't give you what you wanted when you want it. Lord, I want new house. Just because you didn't get the new house, you give up. Lord, I want a good paying job. Instead of waiting on God, you know, you try to help God and do things that we shouldn't do in order to make ends meet. But God wants to know today, can you wait on him? We got to wait on God. And understand, God is our own time, God. But my brothers and sisters, we want to give up so easy. Oh, just forget it. How many people say that? Just, 
going down at church, you know, man, God this, God that, man, you know, uh, you know, I can, I can make more money on the street just doing what I do, you know, make my hustle and this and that, you know, forget this God, you know, this thing, you know, just forget it. We get in that rump, in that spirit, when you just want to give up. But there's a blessing in store for those who know how to wait on the Lord. Am I right about it? We get so tired, we just give up trying and just throw in, just throw in a towel and turn our back. Don't worry about it, bro. I got an extra one. And turn our back. God bless you. And turn our back on not only God, but church, everything. And the Hebrews 11 and 6 teaches us, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must, uh, <laughs> glory to God, you must realize that he is, he is, that he is, and that he is a rewarder to them that digitally seek him. First of all, my brothers and sisters, when you go to God, you got to know who he is. Come on, somebody. Well, who is he? Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You got to know who he is. You got to know that he is the God that don't lie. God said, accident shall be given, seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open. Why would you give up? Don't you realize that God sits high and he looks low and he knows all about it? He said, I will reward them that seek me. The problem is, my brothers and sisters, we want to seek everything and everyone but God. But God is teaching us today that we got to seek him. Don't give up so easy. Amen. You got to roll up your sleeves. Come on, somebody. When things get rough, you got to get tough. Come on, let me try it like this. You got to get down and dirty with it. Rub all in it and say, devil, you are lie. I shall come forth. You can't, you know, mess around this. You got to be bold about it. You got to have confidence within yourself. Yes, I can get an education. Yes, I can get a good paying job. Yes, I will. I see, well, how do you know? Why are you so cocky? Because I serve a God that can provide. You know, we want to play with it. Oh, well, you tippy toe around. Oh, no. Second guessing. God said, boldly come to the throne of grace. You don't tippy toe around God. You sit there and claim it and believe in your heart that is already done and step out on faith. We got to be more assertive What our request. Got to make your request known unto the Lord. Am I right about it? In this book here, Psalms 130, the psalmist cries out to the Lord, said, out of the depths. <sighs> when you think about the depths, the depths is a low place. Mm. Down deep. Human sufferings. Has anybody ever been there before? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking about the depths. Anybody ever grieved or uh, uh, grieving? The depths. Depression. Mm. You know, you can get so down and so down in depression. Amen. I'm talking about way down there. I'm talking about the darkest place in your life. If you haven't been there yet, keep on living. There's a dark place. Sickness. I'm talking about the depths. When the doctor said you got this and you got that, 
I'm talking about the depths. Poverty, poorness, brokenness. Want to do for your family. Bible says you're supposed to be the head man and not the tail. But you got your rubbing, you don't got a, a, a penny in your pocket. You're trying to figure out. I'm talking about the depths. Abused. All kind of abuse. Experience all these things in your life. Mental illness. I'm talking about the depths, y'all. Loneliness. You ever feel all alone? I'm talking about when you lay down and sleep, you're restless. You can't get sleep because your mind is on this and your mind is on that. I'm talking about that dark place in life where they almost feel like death. I'm talking about the depths of life. Here, the songwriter, the songwriter wrote here that in that next verse, in that verse, number two said, Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive. In other words, he want to hear God to make sure he hear him. Want to make sure God is there. But I assure you today, my brothers and sisters, that God, he's there. God is a God. Ooh, I'm so glad about it. Oh, I've been just talking to myself all these years. But I'm glad that I'm not talking to myself. That there is a God. Can I get a witness in here today? That here and answer prayer. You got to go to him like you know that he know. You got to go to him that you know that you got confidence that he can hear your prayer out of your depths. Am I right about it? He said, my voice and my supplication. He says, if thou Lord should have marked iniquities. Look at here, y'all. Who shall stand? Thank God. Dicky Moser, he's a forgiving God. In this text, the songwriter is not saying that God has abandoned him. This is not a text of someone that's been waiting a long time for God. This text is a text of a person that knows that God can deliver them out of the situation. You got to be bold like that and have confidence in the Lord. Am I right about it? The first verse says, for thy, there is forgiveness. Look at here, y'all. He's not asking for forgiveness. He know God is forgiveness. He said, that thou mayest, amen, be feared. The problem is, we don't fear God, my brothers and sisters, the way we should fear God. We got to learn how to have respect for the Lord. He said, for the Lord, my soul doth wait. Look at here, y'all. In other words, he's telling us that uh, we got to learn how to wait for the Lord. Am I right about it? He said, my soul doth wait. Uh, in his word, do I hope. In other words, you got to have uh, the ability uh, to wait on the Lord. Mm. For I uh, don't just wait uh, on the Lord, uh, but while you waited, uh, you got to be in your word. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, God is saying, uh, wait, uh, but while you're waiting, Deacon Moses, uh, you got to learn uh, how to pursue God. Uh, how do I pursue God? Uh, well, he said, uh, all my hope uh, is in what the word of God said. Uh, 
I'm going to wait uh, until my change come. Uh, but while I wait, uh, I got hope uh, because hope uh, with what's good is faith uh, is without hope. Uh, you got to have, uh, I have to have faith uh, because hope brings into the realm of reality. Uh, whatever you hope for, uh, you got to believe that God is able. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, it says that he and, uh, be still huh? in Psalm 46 and 10 um, it teaches us um, to be still huh? and know that I am God um, I will be exalted uh, among the heathen um, I will uh, exalt it uh, on the earth huh? but you gotta learn how to wait on the Lord am I right about we gotta wait on the Lord in due season, God will. How many know He will? He will deliver you. He will bring you out of your problems. But you got to have hope in His Word. Wait on God. In verse 6, it says, Wait, wait, wait on Him, y'all. We wait on the Lord. To him, I said here that I'm going to keep on waiting. My soul waiteth for the Lord. He said that watch for the morning. And when I read this text, it said again, he said, they that he said waiteth for the morning, I say more than they, but watch in uh, for the morning. Uh, in other words, uh, during those times, uh, you had the priests and the Levites uh, and the guards, they would be in the tower uh, and they would sit there and wait uh, until the morning uh, and make sure everything was all right. Uh, they would wait to sundown uh, and when the sun come up, uh, then they were able to come off their posts. Uh, and I stopped by the day to tell you, uh, I remember uh, when I used to work for probation, uh, I had a midnight graveyard shift. Huh? How many worked graveyard before? Huh? And you had run from 10 a.m., uh, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Huh? The worst is hardest time huh? of that shift is about 3 o'clock. Huh? The eyes get a little tired, huh? but you're trying to wait huh? and hang in there huh? until the sun come up. Huh? I stopped by today to tell you huh? that's how you got to be with your prayer to God. Huh? You got to wait. Huh? until the morning come uh, for the morning uh, it's a common church uh, turn to your neighbor uh, and tell your neighbor uh, to wait on the Lord uh, I know God will uh, and I know God can uh, he can deliver uh, but you gotta go to God uh, you can't be playing around with it uh, you gotta go to God uh, and roll up your sleeve uh, I remember the story of Jacob uh, Jacob was a tricky brother. Jacob. Oh, you gotta watch Jacob. Jacob stole the birthright from Esau. Didn't he do it? His mama put hair on him. Am I right about it? Of an animal. And Jacob went to his daddy, Isaac, and said, Daddy, because Isaac was blind. And he said, This is Esau. And he wind up giving Esau blessing to Jacob. Jacob, huh? Jacob was tricky like that. Huh? And I remember in the Bible huh? when Jacob, huh? he wrestled with God. Huh? Am I right about it? Huh? He didn't wait. Huh? He want to get his blessing. Huh? He want more time. Huh? And God, huh? the Bible said, huh? he wrestled huh? with an angel. Huh? He said, well, who is this? Huh? He wrestled all night long. Huh? until he got what he wanted and I declare today and I encourage you to go to God and tell him all about it you got to go in confidence and you got to hold on to God unchanging hand wanting to deliver you from your depths. Uh, he'll deliver you from pain. Uh, he'll deliver you from sickness. Uh, he'll deliver you uh, from problems, uh, heartaches, and pain. Uh, I know God. Uh, 
He is a deliverer, but you got to wrestle with him. You got to stay in there. You got to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Don't give up, for God is able. If you know God is able, say yes. Yeah. I know God is able. Don't give up. Stay in the rain. God will deliver you out of your troubles. God will deliver you. Am I right about it? Hold on to God changing hand. God will. God will. God will. God will. Hold on. Answer your prayer. I heard a voice from Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, lay down, thy weary one. Lay down your head upon my breast. I came to Jesus just as I was. I was weary, worn, and sad. But I found in Jesus a resting place and he made me glad has he made you glad give God some praise tell the Lord thank you thank you Lord for your deliverance power won't he deliver you I know he will can I get a witness won't he answer prayer I know he answer prayer hold on Hold on, for Jesus, our deliverer, born in a virgin named Mary, raised in Bethlehem, in the Nazareth, walked 72 miles to be baptized, arrested in Gethsemane, walked through Jerusalem, went to the Catholic cross, bled and died, went in the grave, but I Really, really. Turn morning. God up. If you're happy about it, say yes. Say yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. For when I was in my dark place, the Lord stopped by and delivered me. When you was in your dark place, God picked you up and turned you around and placed your feet on solid ground. Yes! 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 Y'all might as well say yes. Yes! If you're depressed, say yes. Yes! Hallelujah. God will deliver you out of the depths of your struggles, out of the depths of your pain. God will. You got to be like this psalmist. You got to believe in God's unchanging hand. You got to go to the Lord. When it looks bad, trust me, it's all good. When things look like your life is upside down, you got to know who God is. Let me try this. Don't wait till you get in the struggle to give God praise. Praise him while you're in the struggle. Am I right about it? Praise him before the struggle. So when you get in the struggle, you just keep on giving God the praise. What happens is, some of us do this. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm do good. I'm do good. You got every intention to do right, but Satan has every intention to break you down. You got to know that you know. That even when you're in your depths, 
I'm talking about that low down place like uh, Jonah was in the well. The depths of the sea. In a dark place. He prayed his way out of that well. You can pray your way out of your well. Come on, somebody. He said, wait on the Lord. He that waits shall mount up. Like wings. Woo! Hey, glory. And Deacon Moses, as you mount up, you're going to be on the wings. And guess what? The problem may still be there, but he elevated you above the problem. And you're looking, by the time you turn around, you're looking back and say, I don't know how I made it over. God will elevate you above it. And before you know it, you, God has brought you through it. He is a deliverer. Give God some praise. The doors of the church is open. There might be somebody here today.